You can start? <laughs> you can start. I don't know. Hi, I'm Angela. <laughs> I'm Zach. <laughs> and we hey. are I Will Rain. Um, and this is our van conversion video. Welcome. Welcome. So, uh, yeah, we just bought a van. <laughs> wow. Tell me about the van. So, um, we bought ourselves a Citroen Relay. It's an L3H2. It's a 2012 uh, Citroen Relay van. And it needs a little bit of work, I'm not going to lie. But just a bit. <laughs> it needs a little bit. Um, yeah, it's a bit rough around the edges. But the idea is to um, convert it um, into a camper van. Obviously, I'll uh, finesse some of the outside of it. I'll go through that with you at some point, I'm sure. Um, we've had it uh, a few weeks now. Um, it's been in the garage, so it's actually um, had a new timing chain put on. We bought um, it and it broke straight away. <laughs> I literally sat in the van, put the key in it, went to turn it over, nothing. But I have to say, the people we bought it from have been absolutely fantastic. Um, they actually covered the majority of the cost for it, so they've actually... Uh, they were of, really decent. Yeah, they're really decent. They lost out on a little bit um, through helping us. It had a new... It, and it wasn't cheap by any means as well. It's almost a thousand pounds worth of work it had. Um, on but, day one. On day one. <laughs> but we know now, we were rest assured that, um, you know, we've got a new timing chain. Uh, the tension is of... Um, yes, yeah, so the timing chain, the tension is... Uh, and it's had some other bits like uh, it's had a service and also I think it's had like a new oil seal put in, it's had an oil change. So we know that it's mechanically sound, which is great. Uh, it's got a few knocks here and there. However, that's not the important thing. The important thing is what we are gonna do in here. So the idea is, is that we wanna turn this into a camper van. A um, family camper van. A family camper van. As we have two young boys, um, one, one of which is two, the other one's four months old. So they're very young. Uh, we also have a little Boston Terrier, a little dogo. Do <laughs> so somehow, this tiny little space, um, we have to incorporate um, enough room and also make it a comfortable environment for yeah. us all to be able to sleep. It's going to be our home from home. It so is, yeah, yeah. got to fit us all, including the dog. You don't yeah. go anywhere about the dog. <laughs> That's right. And something about us is that we absolutely love travelling. It's like one of our like passions. Uh, we love driving around Europe. Now, before we had kids, and you know pre-covid it was actually like one of the most amazing things we did and i think it's like you know something that drew us to each other was like our passion for that so um yeah we haven't been able to do that as much obviously um since you've had the kids and we figured the best way to do that is to kind of have them in a van and you, it takes away the pressures um in regards to like, having to get somewhere really quickly uh, for those of you that have kids you know that it's um it can be quite challenging if they like need to be changed or they get tired and you need to pull over, you need to find places. It's a like lot... Mission Impossible, trying to lag around all the stuff they come with as well. <laughs> That's knew? a really great point, yeah. <laughs> uh, they have a lot of stuff, so like, all the car seats, the prams and everything. And uh, we figured the best way to um, kind of like be able to do what we love the most um, and have our kids is to be able to do it in a van. And also that we were able to impart onto them like, you know, some of the things that we enjoy, hopefully they'll have that kind of upbringing um, and they'll be able to experience that with us and they'll, hopefully they'll have that, those memories as well. So it's really important to us that we can all kind of do this as a family. Um, the name, I'll go into that quickly, Isle Rome is a bit of a wordplay. We live on the Isle of Wight, so we are quite lucky as it is because as you know, the Isle of Wight is absolutely stunning. There's loads of beautiful places to go. It's an amazing place to come if you're in a motorhome or a camper van, the beaches are phenomenal. We've got an amazing surf scene here. So I feel lucky that like our boys are gonna kind of grow up with that anyway. And uh, we've got some amazing places to test this baby out. So um, yeah, that's basically us in a nutshell. I'm gonna go through it so that the video is gonna be quite detailed. Obviously, once this is all done, I think the idea of the channel will be to document our travels, mm -hmm. if you like. Um, We've kind of been watching loads of like van life videos, uh, people that live in vans permanently, and also people that just kind of like um, go off on a weekend or whatever. Um, both super inspirational. It's not our plan to live in this full time. I just want to stress that. Um, it is literally just going to be for leisure reasons only, if you like. So we are like weekend. Unless we're lucky enough to work from home and then, uh, yeah, and then we would change, live in this full time. Who yeah. knows with COVID and stuff. So depends yeah. how much we love it. We know this is going to be amazing for us. And our, like during this video, I'll do a little bit of um, like a montage of like walking around the van if you like, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And um, yeah, that's kind of the idea. I'm gonna just be really kind of uh, as detailed as I can in the process of doing this. Um, it is 
not an easy project um, as I'm sure there's so many videos out there already and channels and that all of those people will tell you it's not easy at all but we absolutely love a challenge it's a massive passion of ours and we are absolutely committed to making this really good and hopefully um, you'll be able to come along on the journey and um, you know just enjoy it and um, I'm going to be really interactive so if there's anything you want to know um, any advice you can give me please pop it in the comments down below um, I'll be more than happy uh, to communicate with you that way. That'd be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Catch you soon. See Bye. ya. <laughs> right, turn it off. Hey, so I'm really sorry if there's uh, quite a lot of light glare. Um, first, uh, rookie mistake. So it's <laughs> off to a good start. Got my camera, bought my camera, forgot to bring my SD cards tonight. So uh, absolute fail there, but I do have my phone. So I will um, go through this with you now. So this is um, basically what we're working with. Let's just shut this up. Apologies for the terrible camera. See how she is. Just walk you around. There you go. It's extremely bright today as well. So yeah, we're luckily enough. This is where um, I've got a little bit of a space where I can kind of uh, do some work on it. Um, it's, I have to stress it's not my own house. Um, it is someone that's in our bubble, so um, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, basically I've got a little bit of a garage space so I can put some bits in there. Obviously if it's like pissing down with rain, you don't want that to like damage your wood and everything. And I think the plan for today, as we don't have much long left of the daylight, if you like, uh, the plan today is to... <laughs> Someone wanted to come say hi. This is our son Noah. <laughs> say hello. Oh, say hello. hello. So this is Noah. So uh, he's our little boy. Um, yeah, he's mm -hmm. going to be coming with us. So basically, um, the plan today is just to remove the bulkhead. Um, also, anyone that gets a van, um, when you first get it, do any of the odd jobs that you need to do um, before you put the floor down. Because uh, obviously, once you've got that lovely floor in with the battens and the um, Celotex boards, uh, you're not necessarily going to want to start loading it up. So... As an example, it's a perfect time to kind of like move some bits. Um, like uh, the garage is full here. It does belong to my nan, so I'm going to help her out. Probably move some bits to the dump. Just get rid of some of the stuff that she doesn't need. Um, yeah. Whilst you've got a van, you might as well, eh? But yeah, so um, first thing today, let's get the bulkhead done. And I'll hopefully be able to do a time lapse so you can see what that's like. So I don't know if it's just my van, but as you can see, I do have a bit of an unconventional bulkhead. I think it's slightly different to the one that might have been put in a standard. This is like maybe uh, like an aftermarket bulkhead, um, which is kind of cool. Hopefully it's going to be a lot easier to remove than I've seen some of the other videos. Uh, it's lovely. Got a bit of mould up there. It's great. I mean, let's not pretty this. I mean, this is literally what you get when you get a work van. Obviously, it's going to look great afterwards. You see these videos online. It looks amazing, like uh, what they do inside, but when you first get a van, they are just rough. They're not looked after very well, and, you know, well, unless you're lucky enough to buy a new one. But just expect it to be a bit tatty, because that's where you're going to save your money. You want to invest your money in making sure that you have a good engine, and also making sure that you've got, um, you know, decent bit inside, because you don't want to be spending all your money on uh, something that's perfect, and then, be, like, cheap out on some of the other stuff. So, you know, this is the bulkhead. Um, I might time lapse this. Uh, like I said, some of these rivets here, if I see what they are, um, they actually are bolted in from inside the cabin, which I'm, I'll try and show you in a second. Um, and it seems to be in two parts, which is kind of strange. So as you can see here, this bolt here, kind of like, I wonder if I could do half. So that'd be interesting. So I like take half out. Hmm. I'll give that a go. All right. You're in lockdown. Your brain's running over time. Just stop on one. This is a chance to get left behind. You're in lockdown. Your brain's running See none on the horizon, we're all 
long time We sail home tonight with lights so bright I see that on the horizon we're on time We sail home tonight with lights so bright Alright, so I've just uh, taken the bulkhead out, as you can see and um, well, I don't know if the time lapse caught it or not, but um, the supporting bolt that I put at the top um, just to hold it in place because I was originally going to take out the middle part, but it was just so difficult. Some of the bolts are so hard to get to. Um, I, I, I'd taken the bolts out the side and the middle bolt that I put back in uh, to secure it actually came loose and the whole thing came down on me. And um, it's bloody heavy, I'm not going to lie. Um, much, much heavier than I thought it'd ever be. And that was just literally the top part. So um, I'm just going to do this one bolt now, um, which is just this bolt just here. Um, that needs to be um, taken out and that will separate the two pieces and that will make it easy to carry. But God, I'm so shocked how heavy that piece is. <laughs> I'm so lucky it didn't give me an egg on my head. But yeah, luckily it just kind of rested on me, but it was very heavy. But yeah, anyway, we'll see how that goes. So there she is with the bulk head removed. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the video there. I'm pretty happy with that. I managed to um, undo that bolt, like I said. I managed to get it in two pieces, which is great because um, it's just me at the moment. I'm just looking after the boys. So um, yeah, I managed to get that bulk head moved, which was pretty cool. And um, it just like creates so much more space in the van. Um, it's completely crazy. There's a couple of uh, like little holes. I don't know if you can see. Excuse the mess. If you can see down here, there's some holes where they like screwed the bulkhead in. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some sicker flex, I think, and I'll probably fill those just to make sure that um, that's nice and protected. Uh, what I'm actually eventually gonna do probably is I'm gonna build up the floor here. Now I'm gonna have to put a, a seat here for the boys. Um, and we might have this as kind of like a dining area because I was thinking about having a fixed bed. So um, what I was gonna potentially do is have that raised slightly anyway and like create this as kind of like a, a false floor if you like that will kind of like come around here as you've seen on some of the like the I want to say proper builds so if I basically fill all that um, then uh, I'll be able to have like kind of no damp or anything underneath the false floor that I'm going to make if that makes sense so I'm, I'm bloody knackered um, make sure if you are doing it um, especially if it's one in two halves, um, that you bolt the top um, as you go round, or um, obviously make sure they're the last ones to take out. Normally I would, but because I was doing it in halves, I wanted to, I was uh, not doing the bottom, but in hindsight, I probably should have uh, checked that a little bit because um, that could have been a bit dangerous. But yeah, I look forward to um, seeing you next time anyway. And um, yeah, if you uh, like what you see or you want to um, follow our journey, please um, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell notification so that you can uh, see when we get videos coming up. And um, yeah, just make sure you uh, like our videos and share if you can. Brilliant. See you next time.